What's going on guys, Luca again, welcome back to another Injustice 2 mobile video. This video is going to be my Multiverse to Flash review. So, as you can see on the screen, this is my MetaHuman, or well, not MetaHuman Flash, sorry, I'm getting mixed up with... Uh Injustice 1, but basically this is my Multiverse The Flash, also known as the CW Flash. Uh, as you can see, he was available from the arena, and he's now the current offer in the store. As you can see, I have all of his gear at level 20, apart from his helmet that I have at level 21, uh, when I decide to actually put it back on. There we go. As you can see, I do need to sort out some of the roles. As you can see, some of them are not the greatest. Uh, as you can see, they're 1,150 health. Um, but basically that's him now at four stars he's level 41 27,000 threat and his abilities as you can see here we have multiverse critical so 23% multiverse teammates critical attack chance and plus 40% team critical attack chance so obviously that implies that they're going to be adding more multiverse characters to the game uh, currently in the arena is the green arrow uh, the multiverse green now which is the CW green arrow um, so obviously that will be two multiverse um, two multiverse characters it's kind of like what they did in Justice 1 with the Flashpoint characters um, but anyway moving on to his other abilities Sonic Lift in my opinion is his best move um, I do really really like it only costs 3 bars of power as you can see I'm going to take this up to level 25 because I do actually have the spare gold there we go. So I'm going to, as you can see, that does 2,539 damage, and that is for three bars of power. The dust kick, I do not touch because I really, really don't like it on any version of the Flash. The dust kick is really, really bad. Uh, the whirlwind is kind of good. It looks kind of cool. It has a 19% chance to stun, which is okay, I suppose, uh, but it costs seven bars of power, so it does you do need to save a lot of power for that but obviously if you do team him up with uh this man right here when i can find him where's he at there he is dr fate as you can see his ability actually adjusts team power cost by minus one so if you play him with the multiverse flash the the whirlwind or the tor no the tornado sorry uh, the so the yeah the tornado hands the uh, sonic lift that actually only costs two bars of power, um, but this character is very very good very very fun to use if you get him from arena from playing free to play then that is very, it's just easy to get him that way uh, if you guys can actually spare the time if not and you want to go and buy him. I bought him because I, I really, really like the Flash in general. Um, so what I will do now is I will go into some arena gameplay with him. Um, who am I not got games with yet? Right, so I can actually just grind a little bit of arena. So we're on 69,000 threat, as you can see here. We'll go up against this first team here, this 75,000 threat team. The only... The only character that I don't like fighting against in arena is Armored Superman because... You don't because he's unhittable on your first special essentially, so it's really really hard to fight him. Um, so I tend to miss all of them out. Obviously, coming up against the tech champions or tech heroes, should I say, or characters or whatever, there's so many different games where they call them different things. Um, you get a bonus against tech, but anyway, multiverse to flash, as you can see, he's got pretty much the exact same combo at, well, standard fighting combo as the um, the other flashes. As you can see here, he's got a nice little... F I'm on a nice 20 hit combo at the minute. I will use a special one in just a second. There you go. This is a special one. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. For only costing three bars of power, it is very, very good. I will show the, uh, the whirlwind as well. Let's just put in Wonder Woman just to try and soak up a bit of damage. Right, so let's tag him back in and use the Whirlwind. As you can see, the Whirlwind does do quite a bit of damage. But for 7 bars of power, you're just better off doing the uh, the Sonic Lift. As you can see, you saw the damage it did then. Obviously, the higher the threat, the more damage it does do. So, that's the game 1 done. We will go into the next game now. I will go into detail with the uh, Speed Force to Flash because he's a character that... He's pretty much essential. He's top five. He's top five on this game. He's awesome. But anyway, we're going to go up against normal Batman here. Um, actually, wait. We're not going to go up against Horrific Scarecrow because he actually adds the cost of your power by two. So the Sonic Lift will actually cost five bars of power. So we will actually just go up against this team here with Arkham Knight, Batman, Deadshot, 
Maximum Deadshot and Unhinged Harley Quinn. Uh, we'll go up against uh, these here. And we'll just see how we do. But yeah, Speed Force The Flash, I will have a separate review out on. But this one is the Multiverse The Flash. What... I'll rate him out of 10 at the end of the video. This is my first like Injustice 2 mobile review. Uh, if you guys want to see more like this, let me know what characters you'd like to see. I've got most characters as we're getting hit with Batarangs here. I like the Lightning Bolt as well. Throwing the Lightning Bolt is really cool. But anyway, yeah, Batman's going to get taken down quite easily because he is a tech character. So, metahumans automatically get the, uh, the boost. As you can see there, look at that damage. So much damage. And we're on to Harley Quinn already. So yeah, Multiverse to Flash can pretty much take on... What was his team? 69,000 threat team on his own. I really like the detail on the suit as well. It's the Season 4 suit. Finally upgrading to level 42 as well. Um, so what we will actually do is we'll go and play one more game. And that'll be three games done then. Um, because I actually need to get some more reviews done soon before this arena season's end to secure my place in Elite 1 or Elite 2. Um, but anyway, we'll go up against... Uh, I want to try and find... Is there like an all-tech team that we could go up against? Actually, I'll show you guys how to defeat a horrific Scarecrow with Multiverse to Flash. Because obviously... A horrific Scarecrow increases your power by two. So while for the Sonic Lift, I will actually need five bars of power now, as well as going up against the Arkham Knight Batman, as well as the Blade Master Robin. So this will be probably quite a tough fight. But obviously, if you have Dr. Fate, then it kind of cancels it out. But we'll just have to see how we do against this team with the horrific Scarecrow. Thinking about it, it only costs four bars of power now, so he must not have that ability leveled up as much as the other guy did before. But yeah, as long as we don't get stunned. Blade Master Robin gone. Don't disable my abilities. There we go. Quite easily took down that whole team there, which had like 69,000 threat as well, like 70 odd thousand threat or whatever it was. But that's actually going to do it for this video. Multiverse to Flash review. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. That could be classed as bias because I do really like the Flash regardless. Um, even his silver version I really, really like. But this one obviously being the CW version from the TV show, it just means a little bit more, uh, especially on the game because it's kind of cool. I mean, I bought it on the, uh, the other game as well, the Injustice 1. But Multiverse to Flash... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more reviews like this, then make sure you let me know in the comments down below. These are his stats for the final part of the video. 10,103 health, 1,741 damage. As you can see there, he has a critical chance at 10%. Defense is 28.5%, which is really, really nice. And... Uh Stun chance is 0% at the minute, but I will work on increasing that and I will actually have a video out with him and Green Arrow when I get him because the 23% multiverse teammates critical attack chance will be very, very good as well as the uh, team uh, critical attack damage with Green Arrow as well. But that's actually going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you drop the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.